All right, many of you skincare aficionados are well aware of humectants. You know that these water-loving ingredients will grab onto moisture and as a result, hydrate your skin. But what you might not know is that retaining water is actually only just one aspect of skin hydration. To really make use of that retained water, we actually have to look at osmotic pressure, which means osmolites. Now, if you remember your high school science class, water flows from areas of low osmotic pressure to high osmotic pressure across water permeable membranes. It's the same for water within your skin cells, meaning that any osmotic imbalance in the environment can end up being really stressful on your cells and impact your skin's ability to maintain optimal hydration. Think about it this way, when there's a lot of osmotic pressure in the surroundings, your cells are actively losing water. They then become dehydrated. In the reverse scenario, cells can actually absorb too much water. It's all about that balance. Too little or too much can both be problematic. Now, not to worry, because in skincare, there are ingredients to actually help with skin's osmotic balance, and these are called osmolites. In the next few months, we are actually partnering with a huge ingredient supplier, IFF, to take a closer look at osmolites in greater detail, their actual impact on skin cells, and take a look at their champion ingredient, betaine. In fact, here is a great in vitro study and visual from IFF that showcases how osmotic balance can impact cell health. On the very left, these are skin cells under normal osmotic conditions. These healthy cells were then exposed to hyperosmotic stress for two days. You can see in the control with nothing else, the number and size of cells have both decreased when no osmolites are present. But in the cell with 3% IFF osmolites, you can see most cells are able to survive and thrive in the same hyperosmotic stress condition. So you now understand the general concept of osmolites and why there's more to skin hydration than humectants. In the next month, we'll be sharing more factoids on this particular ingredient and how it might be the next hydrator that is worth putting on your radar next glycerin. You might be surprised how prevalent betaine already is in your skincare routine, and we'll give you all the data on why this ingredient is gaining in popularity in the skincare world.